Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gain. It's been a busy week, we've got a slightly different approach to the weekly asset roundup this week. We've gone French and well, we've got plenty of assets to get through. Let's do this. And up first this week we have the farm field packs by the Casa. This pack includes a large number, 28 in fact, ultra low poly terrain conforming farm field assets. It's been a little while since we had an influx of new farm materials to use but Decaza has done so. A great variety, fantastic for anyone wanting to build a farmland area. Up next we have Emperor Lee with the Shanghai Maglev Road Station. Now raised stations are certainly something that have been of interest in the workshop lately and this one comes packed with detail. Look at the escalators, even those are mechanical. A beautiful model in general, fantastic at night. Well, what more can you want? Up next we have the cargo transfer station by Geometry E and the Casa. Now I personally really like this build and it gives that really rustic feel with the wooden shack but still a quite a modern and fresh design. The track only runs in one direction so make sure you're aware of that when you're placing down but just another small fantastic utility for your train cargo stations. Our favourite dub has returned and this week he has brought us a camping office and service area. As of late, Dub has brought us some fantastic ideas for new props and this camping theme is really good and I'm looking forward to placing down my own camping site. We look forward to what's next from this great asset creator. Ronix is up next with these docks. Included in this pack are 26 dock items, sea walls, harbour, ports, pier assets. Everything you possibly need and what's best is you can place your decals on top. Fantastic. Teldara Lille is next up with the Residential Pillar and this is a very, very unique building. Possibly inspired by the Green City's expansion, but in general it's a very unique looking building and certainly one to put into your modern cities. A fantastic and alternate looking skyline view. It's not a asset roundup until we see something from this man, it's King Leno with the curb prop extensions. So whether you're building a car park or just tidying up your neighbourhood, these props are beautiful for creating realism. Up next we have another elevator station but this time a French one by Jez. Now Jez is never a person to let us down when it comes to detailed buildings and this certainly ticks those boxes. Fantastic textures, I really do love the way this has been built and it's a very large unit but one that will really take focal point in your main town and cities. Nighttime shots as always, fantastic, beautiful asset. I'm sure you already have seen this in Coralis' last video but Tent Man has created these corrugated roofs. Whether it's keeping your equipment and wood piles safe from the rain or just using these as a storage location, even for a plane. These roofs are fantastically utilised. JSF1 brings us the Toronto Police Headquarters and my is it a big building. Probably the biggest police station headquarters we have on the workshop. Certainly one that's going to be a focal point in your town or city. But consider this, because it's such a detailed building, slower computers may struggle with the high tries, but if you're able to, make sure you place this beautiful asset down. Cliquey has returned next with the Aubergine. Now this is perfect for putting your town and cities, it's looking very much like a not only a shop, but you can get away with using it as a little cafe as well, I think the, the name reminds me of a fancy little cafe. Beautiful textures, a great addition. 
The King of the Barns returns this week, it's Beard Monkey, and this is Barn 06. This particular barn has pretty much shot up to one of my favourite from him now. The cattle livestock building looks very identical to one opposite me in my local town. Fantastic detailing, this is certainly one to add in, and suits quite nicely along with the Kaz's lovely fields. Fantastic model. really good assets this week but my particular favourite is this St Mary Church by Titan. I'm always a sucker for churches certainly when they use beautiful brickwork textures just as Titan has. A beautiful model, certainly my thumbs up for this week. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.